life-altering experience. And not just because it can produce dopamine. Food has had psychoactive effects that influenced events from the tragic Salem witch trials to people's daily meals. So be careful what you consume, or you could see pink elephants. I'm not suggesting that you submit to their powers, but the trip through this video might be an interesting one. Which beverage could make you see dead people? How could a type of fish produce LSD-like effects? Could a spice make you feel drunk? Stay hooked, as the answers will surprise you. Mulberries. You can eat mulberries fresh or dried. They're a rich source of vitamin C, vitamin K, and a good laugh. <laughs> I just had some. Eating unripe mulberries could make you see animated shadows and strange colors. Often you'll experience uncontrollable laughter and vomiting too, but you know, can't have it all. And if you eat too many, mulberries can kill you due to their ability to drop your blood sugar to dangerous levels. Caffeine. Your morning cup of tea or coffee contains the world's most consumed psychoactive drug, caffeine. Does anybody want coffee? Why can it cause hallucinations? Well, it spikes your cortisol levels, which is the hormone your body produces to cope with stress. Cortisol can trigger the brain to hallucinate. This explains so many of my mornings. And trust me, no matter how delicious this drink is, you don't want to overindulge. A 2009 study on overconsuming caffeinated beverages found that people who drank over seven cups per day believed they could sense the presence of dead people. I see dead people. If you can see your breath right now, you might want to put that last cup of coffee down. Sea brim. In Arabic, one sea brim fish is called the fish that makes dreams. Ancient Romans chose to eat this fish to trigger hallucinogenic effects. Sarpasalpa, a particular species of sea brim, causes these visions. Its head contains a high concentration of a highly psychoactive compound called indole. Eating it can lead to hallucinogenic fish poisoning, which has a similar effect to LSD. An LSD trip usually wears off after 12 hours, but the impact of this fish's poison can last for several days. Nutmeg. When you think of nutmeg, you might imagine the smells and flavors of Christmas baking. But this spice isn't as wholesome as you think. It contains meristicin, a natural compound that causes psychoactive effects. Two tablespoons of the stuff will do the job. You'd experience a sensation that's between being drunk and being stoned. You wouldn't be able to focus and you'd be nauseous. These effects could last for two days. Rye. Usually, rye is safe to eat, but if you eat contaminated rye, you could get ergotism and start hallucinating. A fungus that contains chemical compounds similar to LSD causes it. The fungus activates neurotransmitters that are essential to regulate your mood and sleep-wake cycle. Consuming large quantities makes your brain send erratic signals to your body, confusing your mind. Rye-based hallucinations have occurred throughout history, in the Middle Ages, they had creepy names like burning disease and hellfire. When you're eating these foods, you'd better watch your portion sizes or you could have a terrible experience. You'd be safer eating these healthy edibles. They can even help you in your bedroom endeavors. Do you want to find out how? Watch the next episode of Origins of Food.